Good morning. It's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, Dr. Markeisha Miller, she's in the house. Also, we're talking with Stella Award-winning producer, Alpheus Anderson. He is here, and it's happening right now. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. It's time to get lamped. Good morning. Here we go. Just for but you, smile and laugh, cause God loves you. Get up, 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 get Good morning. We're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down right now. You all know I've been waiting for this segment to come back again. The doctor is in the house. Dr. Miller, hey, good morning, Jeffrey. my love. Good morning. First of all, you look absolutely amazing this morning. Th now, you look Thank like you, you. Write it, you're really about to write a prescription <laughs> this morning. Like you're Thank ready to you. do it. Dr. Miller, first of all, it's Valentine's Day. Yes. Well, Valentine's Day has passed, but it's the month of love. Absolutely. It's a month of self-awareness. And this is the time where when we really are truthful about it, People begin to um, lose who they are because they didn't get a Valentine's Day gift. The man right. or woman that they thought was their boo Absolutely. turn around and all of a sudden didn't spend Valentine's Day with them or didn't acknowledge them Absolutely. as who they are. And their self-worth and their self-value yes. goes down. Yes. So you're setting us and getting us ready on our mark. There you go. That, there we're you go. on the mark. We're on the mark. And the us. idea of it is before we can truly get people mm -hmm. ready to go mm -hmm. and live that purpose that we introduced talking about, it's important to recognize that people need to understand that they have to start with self. Mm. And so change begins, Michael Jackson said it best, I'm starting with, with the, the man, man in, in the mirror. mirror. But you know sometimes looking in the mirror is, is very scary. <laughs> Absolutely. It's very scary. Absolutely. Because everyone, you know, who wants to really look and examine mm -hmm. and see something that maybe you've been trying to mask or hide? And so it's so important to recognize and begin that love with ourselves mm -hmm. so that we can identify where those faults may be, those flaws may be, maybe those imperfections that we're not so um, built up on. And when we're able to do that, that's when true change begins. How can you know what you want to change if you're not willing to acknowledge what you're willing to accept Ooh. are not willing to accept. But if I stop, here's the thing, doctor. If I, y'all gotta excuse, y'all know, see, I guess I go into a therapy <laughs> section, um, session quickly. Here's the thing, if I take the time to acknowledge right. where I'm <clears throat> at, right. if I take the time to look at my flaws, mm -hmm. how do I look at my flaws but not allow my flaws to overtake me to a place where I go into a depression oh. or what I'm dealing with? Oh. I want to examine myself. Right. I know that, and I'm using this for an example. Well, this one is the truth. I know that I am um, obese. I know that. Okay. And I start doing the diet, but then I drop the diet and mm -hmm. I lose weight and I feel great. Mm -hmm. And then hidden, everybody done told me, oh, you look great, you look right. good. And then you start gaining weight, but you don't, no one sees it. So you start doing things to mask it. Right. How can I look in the mirror and say, wait a minute, mm -hmm. you need to stop? I think it becomes with asking yourself, how comfortable are you really? with wanting or desiring to change. Sometimes we say we want change, mm -hmm. but do we really know what that means? Okay. Okay, um, I heard a great pastor say once upon a time, sometimes we have to be willing to pay the price for what we're asking for. And so if we talk about, you know, many people started January with, I wanna be different. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing that I've been encouraging my clients with is learning to live your life with a theme. Okay. Okay, okay. because I think when we do that, it doesn't put us to a place of um, being afraid of not meeting expectations, right. but it keeps us in a sense of motivation. So if your theme is change, okay, uh, then you have to say, Jeffrey, what does change mean to you? If it means losing weight, okay, mm -hmm. then what is your comfort level with that? What is the area in which you are comfortable enough and confident enough mm -hmm. in, in who you are? Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest thing that we see many times is people are afraid that if they see something that they don't like, right. having to face it, mm. okay? Mm. And you know, you brought up masking mm -hmm. because that is something that we do. We do it. Yes, we, we do. do it. We cover up yes, we those do. things that we don't want to see are those things that we consider, not even if we necessarily consider blemishes, but those things that the world has construed our mind to yes. believe is 
it's not good, not great, a problem. Yes. So we mask it in so many different ways. Yes. And what we do is instead of calling it masking the flaw, we call it enhancing what's naturally there. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Yes, yes, yes! That's what we call it. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, but you have to admit, it's a perfect cover-up mm -hmm. because people do what works until it no longer works. You know, and I like to say that people live in dysfunction mm -hmm. until the dysfunction no longer works for them uh -huh. or provides what they need. And so this month in talking about love, okay, okay self-love, that is so important. There's so many people out there who are saying, I want to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to find my soulmate, that mm -hmm. person. But people aren't believing enough in a healthy me before trying to reach out and create this we. So they're carrying all that baggage Absolutely. and sickness into what they think is going to be a relationship Abs that's going to last. Absolutely. And the relationship is not going to last. Absolutely. Because when you think about it, if I don't love myself, if I'm not willing to be vulnerable and allow myself to be exposed completely, then how am I actually going to be able to portray myself to someone in a healthy way in a relationship? Let me ask this question. How dangerous is that to take your, you're not loving yourself and you're broken and you got issues but you mask that, but you decide to take it into what you consider to be a relationship that is going to be prosperous. How, how dangerous That is, is so that? dangerous okay. because what begins to happen is when you're not feeling confident and validated in yourself, you're going to try to seek that validation through mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. And usually what happens is you find two people who may be broken mm -hmm. or incomplete and they think by coming together that they're going to be able to create that sense of completion that they're looking for, but it doesn't happen. It's so dangerous when we want other people to validate or try to fill those voids that we have. Listen, and let me tell you, I, and I'm just gonna, can I be truthful? Come on with I'm it. gonna be truthful because <laughs> you talk about validation and to right. know Jeffrey is to know like, man, Jeffrey just, he, he just got it together and he's great, blah, 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 whatever people may have said about me in the past or whatever. Right. And my thing is this, while I love myself, and I'm comfortable with who I am, right. there is actually a hidden um, level of comfortability that I'm just not there with. Hmm. And one of, my, one of my issues is my, so for example, my wife, mm -hmm. she, that's the person that, that needs to be my number one validation. That's right, that's My wife, then my mom, and then you know, keep going down the list. But my wife, she'll often say to me, oh babe, she looked nice today, uh -huh. and I like it. But then you can come to me and tell me, Boy, that blazer, <laughs> you wearing it. And then I'll go back to her and be like, yeah, Dr. Miller said my blazer was hot. Uh -huh. And she's sitting there like, but I said that your blazer was hot. But I said that your blazer was great or whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. Let me tell you what that comes from. The people that we love the most, we expect it from them. They kind of become that safety net, that, that piece that, that kind of keeps us secure. Okay. But people are typically more afraid of the outside, mm -hmm. the external individuals. Mm -hmm. And so it sounds like with you, it means more if someone who is not in your safe circle is able to accept Jeffrey and validate Jeffrey. Ooh, but why? Then. Why? And because I believe you. Right. Because it's it's so ironic. Like I said, right. I you know my even my sister, mm -hmm. my mom, they mm -hmm. can tell me stuff. They can tell me, mm -hmm. but I never heard of it. Your safe your circle. Your safe circle. Absolutely. So people. So when we hear stuff from our safe circle, oh, okay, thank you. Absolutely. It's great. They're, they're our safe circle. So that's normal. We expect that from them. Absolutely. I'm, that's normal. Absolutely. I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Harry. Don't you love that right there? I'm normal. I always because we always trip See, I just not, validated you. just validated. <laughs> See, here we go again. It's this need for validation. Right. So do you, would you say that a lot of people deal with that? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. So how, and I think that that becomes the, the biggest thing that people are fighting. Okay. Um, going forward in 2016, when we were talking about being on the mark, okay. that becomes the biggest thing because I want people to understand that before they can actually begin to make those changes, whether it be career, financial, some people, their idea of getting on the mark is getting into that healthy relationship. For some people, it may be spiritually mm -hmm. getting on the mark. Mm -hmm. Before you can do all of those things, you have got to be truthful and honest Let a man with yourself. examine himself. That's yes. what they say every Sunday. Y'all yes. just drink that wine and eat yes. them crackers <laughs> and going on about your business and you don't examine nothing. Yes. But you have to take yes. a look 
in the mirror. So I'm going to be your guinea pig okay. for as, as, as we move into yes. March. So being knowing my issue, knowing right. that my my wife, my mom, my sister, my safe circle there you go. can tell me, and I'm going to use that now, my safe circle can tell me, hey, you look nice, you look great, you sounded great. They can tell you all these things about you. Right. But when I hear it from other places, mm -hmm. then it's like, what do I need to do? How, how do I become aware? What, what take me on this? this I think path. you're going to have to first and foremost find your own confidence. Okay. Okay. You're great. Everyone knows Jeffrey Lampkin as a great singer. Mm -hmm. You're a great host, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to become confident in that yourself so that you don't have to ask, well, how did I sound? How did I do? Because your validation is internal. So you don't have to seek the external factors of that. So what do I do in the meantime? Because here's the thing. I won't ask no one. Right. Don't ask me. Okay. I'm not going to Ask, don't but inside, ask. I'm gonna cringe because <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I wonder how it's sound. I'm gonna want someone to tell me, mm -hmm. like, for example, my sister and I, we sung in church Sunday. Uh -huh. We did a tribute to BB and CC for Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. Now I knew it sounded uh -huh. amazing, okay, but I needed to hear that uh -huh. from someone. So let me my, ask you this. Uh huh. So let's say you ask the question. Okay. How did we sound? And they say, Well, Jeffrey, it needed a little work. That's what your external validator said. Okay. How are you going to receive that? Ooh, listen. <laughs> um, <laughs> Get a little nervous there. Because right. <laughs> I'm going to begin to stop, and it will make you pause. And then really being very honest, if, I, if I'm transparent right now, uh -huh. if someone was to say that, then I'll be like, well, because it, it'll make me wonder, well, what did I do or what uh -huh. happened? And then I'll start really critiquing every, and it becomes it becomes kind of chaotic there in you mind, go. if that makes any sense. There you go, absolutely. And so that's why it's so important to already have that internal foundation that is so solid. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is one thing that I try to teach people as well. When you're asking for criticism, because criticism, it can be very constructive, but it only works when you have a foundation and you're not building yourself on what other people say. Let me tell you what I posted on the good book of faces this morning. Tell this was my Facebook status this morning <laughs> and it has taken off in less than an hour. My status said, doctor, uh -huh. stop taking constructive criticism from anyone who hasn't constructed anything. There you go. It doesn't matter. And we can say Same that head. and I know that in my mind, right. but I need my actions right. to emulate what right. my mind is saying. Right. So build your own validation. How do I do that? Be build that confidence in yourself. And it takes time to build confidence. Okay. It takes time to become comfortable with stuff. Let me tell you what I do. Every morning when I get up, okay. I spend two minutes in the mirror just looking at myself. Okay, and just examining mm -hmm. and just taking notice of flaws, whether they be external flaws, internal Come flaws. Come on, Mary Jane Paul. Just, a, just <laughs> examining. I love it. I just love examining. It. That's it. Because when you do that, that's when you begin that piece of embracing. Wow. Wow. You know what? Wow. So I'm going to get on my mark. Get on your I'm mark. I'm going to get on my mark, and I'm going to start this journey of increasing my self-validation, my there validation meter that's there you laying go. inside there of you here. There you go. And I'm going to start being confident and stop walking in with my cell phone in my hand <laughs> and doing, because people do stuff. <laughs> right. you, you notice, like, if you notice when people walk places and things of that nature, they have their cell phone in their hand. It's a distraction yes, to keep is. them because they're not comfortable or go. they're a little nervous or they're a little timid. But I want to become more confident. I just want to walk in the room and just... Uh, and be Jeffrey. Shine. There like you a go. Light. Just let your light so shine. <laughs> Listen, we got to go. Dr. Miller, you're coming back in March. Yes. We're going to examine me. Yes, we <laughs> are. Take a look yes, a little further. Will. Yes, but we will. How can they reach you again? How can the people reach you? Um, I'm on Facebook, mm -hmm. absolutely, with oh. Holistic Psychological Associates. Mm -hmm. And so they can find me there. Please feel free to reach out as always. Listen, Saints, <laughs> y'all sign me up. <laughs> this is the year. And this is the funny thing, last real quick question. I know we got to go. I said something. I told you, you said have a theme for your year. Year. Yes. Last week, I declared a theme for this year. And if you notice, if you hit hashtag right now, because I gave it to my choir, uh -huh. I gave it to my groups, I gave it to everybody. Yes. It's the year of possibilities. There you go. Anything is possible. That's there my theme go. for this year. Last year, it was Fearless 15. This year, is 2016, yes. the year of possibilities. All things are possible, but you first have to examine yourself. Listen, yes. keep it right here. Stella Award winner <laughs> Alpheus Anderson is in the house. We're talking about the Stella Awards. We're talking about the Empowerment Tour and more. It's happening right here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. One who is confident in validated in himself. <laughs> I'm a gladiator in a blazer. Your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out, you're getting lamped. Good morning. <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. 
All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. Welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. Y'all know I get excited anytime artists are here, especially when my friends are here. He's like a mentor. He's a brother. He's been here before. Stella Award winner. Alpheus Anderson is Jeffrey. in the house. Hey, What's hey. going on? First of all, let's stop right here. Hey. I need this blazer. You I don't get, know. You got it. I think I can. I think I can. Two wear, X. Listen, that's my size. <laughs> now it won't button, but right. that's my size. Stand up real quick. Let, oh. let the see, see the blazer. Come on, let's turn around. The Holy no, Ghost dude. is on the back of this blazer. Is that the car? Look at that. <laughs> the Holy Ghost, man, it is. You so, may see it again. That's it. Don't you worry about it. May see it at the Stellars that's this we, week. Yeah. Because you, you'll be at the Stellars. Then, yeah, First man. of all. I just gotta gotta stop and say congratulations to you because if we think about any artist in South Carolina who is doing it and who is making it happen, and when I talk about work and you know actually putting in the work, people are walking around waiting on Kirk Franklin, Aaron Lindsay, and and all of these producers to come and find them. But you said no, yeah. I'm going to work and have them notice me. Absolutely. And now they're partnering with you. How does it feel to be nominated for a Stellar Award again? Man, this is our fifth nomination. And we did win in 2012. So y'all won we, before. Yeah. And, and to, to represent South Carolina, we didn't say we were from Atlanta. Right. We didn't say we were from, from you know, but we we're from South Carolina. South Carolina got it going on. Very much so. And of course, it was it was a nomination for the best youth project of right. the year. And so we got youth. We're bringing youth in the situation and exposing them to the gospel industry, training them. And um, it's just it's an honor. It, it's, it's like the first time every time. What I love is that you not only you're doing that, Alpheus, but you haven't decided to keep your knowledge to yourself. Because not, at all. not only is yeah. Alpheus Anderson and Teen Pure and Heart nominated, but Jada Redman yes. um, in Music to Change You had a portion in that project and they had the chance to be able to work yeah. with the Redmans on that. And she was a part yes, of a Pure, Pure and Heart yeah. as well. So Absolutely. what has that been like to see her flourish and to begin to become her own solo artist and evolve? It's awesome. Okay. I mean, we have to duplicate ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to. To, and, and, and so many young people are growing up and they're duplicating wrong. And so we're, we're sharing wisdom. Um, I'm linking up with so many individuals mm -hmm. that have the same heart as a teacher. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, uh, with this newest thing we're doing, <laughs> the tour, Come the on. empowerment tour, um, everybody that we're linked up with with the tour, we have a heart to get this information out you know, our past experiences right. we're sharing with everybody and young people included. Now, how, talk to us a little bit about the tour because, of course, first of all, y'all know I am a Donald Lawrence head yeah. all day. Lejeune, Lejeune Thompson is on the tour. Yes. Grammy award winning. St Her Stella husband, Cedric Thompson, is the music director for the tour. He has put together a set like no other. Wow. We have two tributes. I don't want to give it away. We have two tributes to to uh, just. All I say, the part of Wants to put you, that's all. Yeah, I ain't supposed yeah. to say no more. No more. Well no deserving. More. Andre Crouch. We can't, wow. yeah, we're doing a tribute to him. Wow. You have Lowell Pye, formerly wow. of Men of Standard. Yes. He will sing you crazy. He really will. Very you know. much so. And a favorite, favorite, favorite worship leader, Sean Bigby. Yes, Lord. He's on the tour. Listen, another songwriter. Another great, and he's also um, praise and worship leader at John P. Key's yes. church as New well. Life. Um, New mm -hmm. Life. So he's just really like doing great things. Y'all are representing. And yes. Then, Stella Award winner, Pure in Hearts. Pure in Hearts on the tour. We can't bring all 400, <laughs> but we have we have about four, about six of them actually right. that are providing all the BGVs wow. under the direc direction of Michael Young. Assistant director of yep. Tri-City yep. Singers. Absolutely, and, and man. It is, it's different. This empowerment tour mm -hmm. is, is beyond dance and music. Mm -hmm. And so in the mornings, most cities, if we can fit it in the schedule, okay. we have empowerment sessions. Okay. And so and each artist are contributing in those sessions. We have a wow. panel. You can ask whatever you want. So we hope everybody come out next so Saturday. So when the people come mm -hmm. to the to the concert, yes. um, the thing is, is that these artists are not going to be off limits. It's not like you can't have access to them. They're the, not only are they ministering to you on stage, yeah. but they're going to minister to you one on one and get the opportunity to say, "Hey, this is me. I'm a normal person just like you, but I love Jesus." Yes, absolutely. And these are non music music sessions. Wow. With, I mean, with the youth, we're talking about bullying. Um, um, uh, Lejeune is talking about uh, low self esteem, wow. um, depression and how she overcame some obstacles. Mm -hmm. um, Cedric is talking to all the musicians. Wow. Sean and Lowell. It's no secret that Lowell has lost uh, maybe 50 pounds. Very much so. I Very mean, he's, so. he's living that out on social media. Right. Uh, they're sharing that, and, and, you know, it's a mess out here. 
It and is. we're saying that we have experiences and we're going to be transparency mm -hmm. because transparency builds trust. Wow. And when we do that and we share we share the wisdom, I think that individuals are going to leave in power. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me oh, ask yeah. this question because there are a lot of artists who are watching this morning and, and I want to ask this because you got all of these major artists who have come together yes. to say, you know what, I want to give back to the kingdom. Oh, I yeah. want to build the kingdom. I want to share my gift. How were you all able to pull all of these major artists artists and there not be any hateration, there not yeah. be all of this um, egos and different things of that nature, because it can happen. We often say it can, but it can happen mm -hmm. in them from different cities, but all together as one. Well, there's a common denominator. Okay. It's the Holy Ghost. Come on. <laughs> Listen, the Holy Ghost will make you do right yeah, when you want to I mean, do wrong. I mean, it's peaceful. There's no drama. Right. And you can't have that. That'll come on stage and you'll see that. And so we meet often. Wow. And, and 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 I believe in as a saying that said, know those who labor among you. Right. So we, we, we eat, we mm -hmm. eat together, mm -hmm. we've worked out together. Wow. And so we know our, our, our insecurities, mm -hmm. our struggles, and we know where we're strong and we're coming together, uniting. Wow. And, and, and sharing this information in the form of the Empowerment Tour. All right, so the it's, Empowerment Tour is going to happen. It's coming up yes. um, Friday and Saturday, February the 27th and the 28th. Yes. Um, at Word of God. Word of God. Word of God. Of course, everyone in Columbia, you all know, and those of you beyond, if you're watching out on social media, if you're watching on YouTube, it's at Word of God, which is off of Bush River Road in mm -hmm. the complex, right behind the church's chicken. Don't ask me how I know that, but just know <laughs> that you can get a two-piece when you need it, and it can happen for you. But it's off Broad, Broad River Road, Bush, Broad River Road, Bush River's on the side, Broad River Road, so it's off of Broad River Road. It's in Road. Columbia. In Columbia, South Carolina, <laughs> Word of God. Word of God. And so it's going to be happening, that's Friday and Saturday. And Saturday. Um, and of course, again, Lejeune is going to be there, Sean Bigby, Pure in Heart, all of them. And so you got a two-part session. Friday night is the concert. What time is that going to start off? 7 p.m. Okay. Doors open at 6 p.m. Okay. Yes. And then we're Free. Saturday. Free. Free. Listen, and first of all, now, what concert can you go to and see Stella Free. Award winners? Free. Grammy, Grammy Award winners, can the, you see them? Yes. Talk to them. Talk to, and Touch the next them. day, get up and and one-on-one -on -one sessions with right. everybody. And please don't, because one of the things I share, especially for my artist friends and for church people and the church music lovers, don't get so caught up in the shout that yeah. you forget the importance of education yeah. and learning how to get those steps. And this is this is crazy that you're able to yeah. get this wealth of knowledge from people who God has allowed to succeed in the kingdom. You Absolutely. Too can succeed in the kingdom. So it's totally free. Free. Happening at Word of God. Now, Stella Awards, real quick. Yes. You're this there. Week. I'm here. I'm there this week. And so and really before you go to Stella Awards, because I need y'all to understand how, first of all, so honored that you're here this morning. Yes. But how you're really building it for the kingdom. So before you even get to the Stella yes. Awards, you're going to Gospel Heritage with Gospel Dr. Teresa Harris. Yes. And I'm teaching there. I have a session, about a 60-minute uh, session okay. on how to gain and maintain youth in wow. your churches. And that is so needed because they so are needed. leaving they're left leaving. and right, and they're going to places where they can have that freedom and that expression of worship. Yep. So you're going to Gospel Heritage with Dr. Teresa Harrison. You're Getting on a plane. There, and then you're headed going to... Going to Vegas. 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 <laughs> where the Holy Ghost will abide this weekend. Yes. Because the Stella Awards yep. will be in town where you all are nominated and you're going to bring back the win. And we're excited about it. And also, Jada Redman is nominated yes. as well. So we're just praying for South Absolutely. Carolina to continue to have a great showing. Mm -hmm. And then after that happens, then... In, you'll going be to the back. ASCAP breakfast. Going to the ASCAP yeah. breakfast. And, and that's going to be a great company. It's hosted okay. by, by Ty, Ty Tribute. Oh, and they're that. going to be a part of that. And then Red Carpet. We have some young people at, actually going to be there. Outstanding. So I'll be there accompanying the young people. Okay. And then we're going to enjoy the show this year. Outstanding. And then we're coming back. May go see the Grand Canyons. That's it. <laughs> take, a little, yeah. take a little time yeah. and enjoy that view. Yeah. We'll take a little, <laughs> that, that's what we're going to do. Just take a little time. Yeah. But Alphys, let me ask this final question. Yes. For artists who are out there, they're grinding, mm -hmm. and their grind is yeah. going to be on this person's musical and that person's musical and this musical and this. Mm -hmm. You're doing it, yeah. but you want more, and you're waiting yeah. on, like I said, Kirk Ty and, and um, um, Alex Ace of Ward and Cedric Thompson and Alfie yeah. Anderson to come and sign you. Mm -hmm. However, you too can do it yourself. You can. Just give them some tips. I, have, a, I have 10, but okay. I'll try to narrow it down. Okay. Stay in your lane. There's less wrecks over there. Stay in your lane. Number wow. two, yes. learn how to add and subtract. Got to know your money. Yeah. Got to understand yeah, if, that if, there's a business yeah. to the ministry. That there's ministry, but that there is business. Don't, if you can't afford it, don't do it. Wow. Be patient. Okay. Also, stay, uh, stay in your, start in your local area. Wow. Start in your, 
and that's two things in that. Just start, but right. start in your local area. And I share with people often that one, t one thing about industry people and artists and record companies, they look to see whether you have a fan base in your area. Absolutely. If you come to me and you bring me an album and you tell me about yourself, but then I go back to your community and nobody yeah. can tell me who you are, why would I sign you? Because if your home won't support you, how can I expect for anyone else to support you? You did something phenomenal mm -hmm. in your local area. You mm -hmm. showed up maybe top 50 on, on iTunes chart. Yes. In your local area. Got to. Without major backing. Got and to. And you can do a lot locally. That's what I tell a people. Lot. Yes. You got to, but you've got to. And that means you have to be nice to people. And you have to show up to events and stop looking for the $5 check. Because the, if you keep doing what you need to do for $5, yeah. yes. then that $5 million will eventually come. You got to have faith and believe it. Absolutely. Lowell Pie says all the time, you do the work and the money is coming it'll come i love this statement it'll come and and and, and, and that's a true statement y'all i cannot share it because people always put in prices and stuff on things oh yeah and while there is a business when it comes to ministry sometimes just trust god absolutely and watch him do what it is that he's going to do and he's did it for you yeah and he's done it for lowell and he's done he's it for done team it. pure in heart and so many others i owe nobody wow <laughs> listen debt free i owe come nobody on. that's it owe nobody, man. Boss. that's the spirit yep. that's a listen this weekend is coming down Stella Award is going to be over yep. next weekend. You need to show up. Be at Word of yep. God. Again, that's going to be on Friday night and on Saturday, the concert on Friday night with, of course, um, Grammy and Stella Award winners all across the board. Pure in Heart, Lowell Powell, Sean Bigby, Lejeune Thompson is going to be in the house, and it's going to be amazing. And then come back Saturday morning with teaching from Michael Young and Alpheus Anderson and Cedric Thompson and so many others. And that's yes. going to happen at Word of God Word on of God. Broad River Road. And that's where can they follow you at and get your music and everything? Yes, you can. Sure you can I'm on... Um, Everything. Al Piano 81. That's it. Of course, the Empowerment Tour at Empower Tour underscore. Um, and our hashtag is Empower Tour. Um, just check us out. Pure in Heart, YouTube, um, every, all of these everything. artists on, on everything. everything. Sean, LeJune, Lowell. By the music. Periscope. <laughs> if you want to see some funny stuff. <laughs> Follow, Follow these on, artists on, on Periscope. Periscope. Yep. Listen, and we know you're on there as well. That's it. Make it happen, y'all. Listen, more is happening on the Jeffrey Lampton Show. <laughs> when we come back, I'm going to give you some announcements, and we're going home. Your coffee cups are out. Your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Wow, what an amazing show. Make sure that you go to the Empowerment Tour. It's happening. I'm going to be there, especially on that Friday night. That concert is going to be so dope. This weekend, Newberry County, Winsboro County, Fairfield County, all of you around, I am doing a big youth mega workshop. It's happening starting Friday night from 6 until 8.30, and then, of course, on Saturday. And the concert is today, so listen, make sure you show up. It's going to be awesome. 3 p.m., Fairview Baptist Church. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Enjoy singing with Jennifer Holiday on yesterday. That was so dope. So thank you so much for that. Listen, follow us everywhere. The Jeffrey Lampkin Show at gmail.com. Send your feedback. Thank you so much. Listen, make it an amazing week. And remember, because God is the greatest power, you shall not be defeated. You have God's favor. Have an amazing week, everyone. It's Sunday morning. Good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.